Okay, so this is a very quick demo of the application Learn My Part. We're going to work with a file for Hark All You Lovely Saints Above, a little madrigal. Um, here I'm searching the internet and found a place which has a MIDI file for that, so I'm just going through and downloading that. Um, here's the Hark All You Lovely Saints .mid. Just going to download that. It'll put it in the Files app on my phone. Um, if you have a MIDI file from other places, you can email it to yourself and just open in the app from there. Um, but if you're downloading from the web, this would be how you do it. Um, find it in the files. Just cl uh, we'll click the file and then hit the share button, and we'll open in Learn My Part. Now this is this is the Learn My Part application. You can have a you have a list of all the MIDI files that you have loaded up here. Uh, selecting Hark Will You Lovely Saint, which is the one I just imported. Um, you see there's five parts, uh, and then you have a mix of you. And I can play back the piece, which you can hear now. Um, and then I have these sort of uh, mixer presets that you can set to highlight, isolate, or challenge. Highlight will play your part stronger than the others. Isolate will play just your part. If you click challenge, it'll play just the other parts without yours, so you can sing against it. And of course, you can set any custom mix you want by setting the sliders where you like. The buttons at the top just help set that up quickly for the most commonly useful use cases. And at the bottom, if you click the little eye in a circle, you get this additional menu comes up, which allows you to set this playback speed, faster or slower, uh, to adjust the master volume, to set the pitch up or down, uh, any number of semitones. It could be useful if you're learning a particularly high part and you just want to practice it all lower. And then at the bottom, there's also um, an ability to select just a bar range so by default it'll play all the way through but you can turn on loop bar range and so, and select just a section of the piece and it'll show you the start and end bar numbers and you can just play that and it will when it gets to the end of the section automatically loop back to the start and play it over again and we'll just see that happen now And again, in combination with um, highlighting just your part or playing it at a slower speed, uh, um, this can be very useful when you're first learning pieces just to get a section properly established before you move on to the next section.